So what we got? Sphinx and Eater. Bye bye blimps. Oh yeah, another jet ski one. Future Frenzy. I like that one. Tomb Waiter. <laughs> Tomb Waiter. Do you want to do a plain one? Let's do a plain one. Still got time. Haha, <laughs> time. What? Oh! I thought we were just Coco for this one. You can play either of them now. There's breaks. I'm getting shot up. They seem to control them, man. So I just go go and now I feel bad. kind of speeding through these without getting all the boxes. I want to do future friendly. So we're going to play with the Cocos, because we haven't shown off the Cocos. I don't actually know. I don't know if she plays at all different. Never played with her, ever. Oh yeah, we got the super spin. I was like, what? She can spin more than him. That's not fair. <laughs> That's that late. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she plays exactly the same. There you go. I'm really interested to see what Crash 4 will be. I am very interested. Uh, I don't even know. I just saw the box art and everyone going, oh yeah, they're making another one. And they're like, oh, I like the subtitle straight up. It's about time. And you're like, really? We're kind of at this weird dinner. We're kind of at this weird generation where they're revamping and rebooting a load of games. And then releasing more in the canon after basically retcon. Oh, he's dead. Um, after basically retconning a bunch of stuff, like... People are saying about RE2 and 3. 
that's a big thing. It's very really changed the theme to this, I'm pretty sure. It's completely different before, from, from what it was before. They seem to be changing some things as well with uh, the canon on this, but it's only really subtle. Entropy's just dead. And if the next one's about time as well, maybe that's something to do with it, you know? Oh, I went through the behind the two things. Oh, shit, I didn't make a break in between the... Uh, have to cut it now. <laughs> you editing. You tell them you don't have the tech. You don't have a program. Oh. <laughs> so be doing loads of complex video editing and splicing of those. I'd be changing a lot of stuff with my uh, my recordings, but like. I just straight up don't have the tech on my computer. Not a good example, anyway. So I don't like to do lots of editing. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad. I panic. So just spam. Oh. You start to like error correct a lot with that. To just go, I don't know if the standard spins long enough ah! <laughs> like this. I always forget where the other ones are on that. I think you have to take a secret path to get the extra boxes. So, there, we even got a Chivo for using Coco, I assume. They play exactly the same. Moida. What fun thing we do? We got Sphinx. I'm just speed running this because I got some stuff to do in a minute. <laughs> so, uh, did that one. Okay, we got this. Two Sphinx. Two Egypt levels in the Egypt team place. Split paths everywhere. I don't know which one's the better one. I just went where the boxes were. Uh, oh, sneakers there. Look. Should we try this one? Everyone want to see it? 
No, we're not going to try this one. Can't get past the first thing. Probably forgot the boxes at the beginning. What was I going to say? Yeah, so we've also got uh, them slightly changing. Scary money. Uh, they're slightly changing the canon in uh, Resident Evil as well, apparently. A lot of stuff is changing. You can walk in between those when they're up. I died. You may have noticed. Uh, yeah, slightly changing the canon for RE, where, uh, RE4, like, the last Plagueis and all of that, and, like, changing it. Well, they're not changing RE, RE4, but in RE3, they're making a big point of, like, uh, making a big point that it's, like, uh, <clears throat> Nemesis may have sense to being a Plagueis parasite and stuff, and you're like, trying to make it make more sense that it's just this last Plagueis was never explained before. <laughs> wow! I didn't want to get stabbed. Can you blame me? I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> All of this is me over spinning and over jumping because I'm panicking. This. Oh no, we're not gonna do this. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I don't like it. I don't... No! No! <laughs> Ugh. It's just trap after trap around every corner now. wanted to make running a switch. Slide into that one. Bit. Maybe start putting these at the top of every staircase just to fuck with you to see if you just get by it at the wrong time. And suddenly, no Ukama. Aku Aku mask, you know. It's, they're just like, no, fuck you. And you're like, oh, okay. They give you lives, but they just want to see you die, really. <laughs> One of these again. Ooh, why did I jump? <laughs> see, they kept some two hit enemies in. It's literally just the wizard they got rid of. And it makes you think they just didn't want to show a wizard in his underwear. And you're like, wow. <laughs> you're like, wow. Yeah, obviously that was too risque. But it's like, everything else is the same. You could just have him have another robe on underneath. That would have been kind of funny, actually. It's like, spin and his robe falls off, and there's another robe underneath the robe. And like, Aha! It's like, what the fuck? Or like, he's got armor on or something. It's just like, Subverting the wizard expectation. If there is any expectation for a wizard. Ah! <laughs> oh no, he got me. I didn't think he would get me. Mm, mm, mm. 
We'll have to do the secret gem pops and all that shit as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do all the gem pass and the time trials and stuff so I can show off all of the uh, other stuff for people who are new to all of that. Oh, there's two. Hey guys, do you remember these pillars from the first game? They're back! As it's burning hot lava. I never tried it, but I wonder if you can spin away a crystal by accident there. I, I want to try it, but I don't want to have to replay a hard level. <laughs> <coughs> fell in the hole. No, bad monkey. Must have been like a uh, one of those one of them magic roots. And I wouldn't have got my crystal if I went that way as well. Oh damn it, crash! You need to buy a wallop. <coughs> I've been dancing. Oh god, I'm forgetting everything today because I'm too busy playing video games. Uh, did that one. That does leave the Tomb Raider. You know, it's the China level, the China one. I didn't have a single China, like, uh, ancient China tiger run level. But, like... But the uh, Egypt one... A, uh, oh, now he just has this because that's that's what they had in Egypt. Oh, it nearly got me there. Oh, uh, well, we're just gonna go back because I managed to mess that up so badly. Just jump on one of them, dude. I'm just assuming they got both of them. Oh, oh, I got hit by that. Oh, and they're bringing these guys all of a sudden. Which feel like a homage to the old uh, guys with the shields in the uh, 
in the uh, first game, but probably is not a similar idea. Oh. I think they're going to do tricksy shit on me now. Oh, <laughs> can I fuck up the basic task? Because <laughs> my feet touch it. My feet. That was bad. Water. Bigger than you thought. <laughs> oh, just one off. Forty four lives. Risking it. Oh, why doesn't the X work sometimes? Now I lost all my little uh, my masks. Oh, at least I get this one. Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. Oh, jeez. Way to just tension rising. People ask me why I'm ang anxious as a person. Oh, okay. 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 Great. This better work now. Yeah. how long this level is. I'm not gonna lie. Oh look a death loop, but I died like a punk bitch, so Okay. Fuck me I guess. That's really I needed that. I see a pink glow in the distance. Those are not as forgiving as they used to be. Yes. Skills or bills. Except they do not pay the bills. How am I alive? 
question I ask myself regularly. Oh, well, I fucked everything up. Calm down. Break the box. Break. I was a uh, a team. A tunt. There's a tunt. Oh, okay. <laughs> You notice my accuracy is a bit weird on this because it used to be that it was a lot more accurate throwing him around. My crash handles differently and I'm just missing and jumping everywhere but on top of this box. Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. Fumbling. Fumbling it all. Eh. No, bad bug. There we go. I missed one. Oh, no. <laughs> My life is over. That's not all of them. What the hell? Oh. Well, there you go. Time to do... The, the jet ski used to handle differently and we had a much rapider turning circle and went faster. Now it feels like really slow, lot of uh, turning in. it just feels like it's a bit unresponsive. Maybe it's just me. Eh, berms! Cannon barrels! Eh! Well, bye-bye box. Out of the way, ho- Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. That seagull didn't give a fuck. Don't play chicken with a seagull. Oh! Oh no! We're just gonna- Oh, I'm at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. It's funny, but it hurts. <laughs> I might need to get my eyes checked. This is the biggest call for the. I haven't been to the opticians in a long time. I'm too scared. Every time I go, they say, "Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. Your your glasses are out of date. Your eyesight's worsened." like either significantly in one eye or just imperceptibly and my eyesight is so bad they have to get like special glasses made and have them thin down and shit uh, so that they don't look like jam jars and they're like oh yeah and it's like 1400 pounds every fucking time and I'm just like well I don't have that money go away bad seagull I'm going for all of the boxes <laughs> I'm starting to sit there and look at road signs from a fair distance and I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck that says. <laughs> but to be fair, it's in big letters that I can read the Chinese characters and tiny, tiny letters in English underneath, or in pinyin underneath, and you're like, I can't read that from here, it's tiny. Whoa. I thought that was the team to be floating as a troll. Sharks, boats, boat sharks. Off it. Oh look. One up. <laughs> I'm a huge baby when it comes to these games. Look at this bomb. I think this is all that. And 
this in a box. I'm straight out doing the Winnie the Pooh face when I'm looking at him in the distance. You know where he's trying to read and he's like, eh? <laughs> that's, that's me now. Yes. Out of the way, Sigmund. drifted faster than I expected. This guy, this guy. Ooh. Oh no! Out of the way of the, the, the bomb. Ah. Well, I need to take a hit here. No, how? Sheer luck. There's a lot going on on this level. But at least it's not just a big open sea area. That's what I don't like about Hot Cocoa. That's why it's like a bonus level, I think. It's just not... It's very optional, you know? Uh, oh, how, how am I alive? Oh. Yeah, when... You know, it's kind of like very indicative of what's... Well, I just missed that. Didn't I? It's very indicative of what's wrong with the American system of healthcare. When just from the opticians, I can say I am straight up neglecting my health when it comes to the opticians and and the, and the dentists purely because it's too expensive for me to go to either. Well, I could go to the dentist. I don't think there's anything wrong with my teeth. But that's the thing, right? If I think there's nothing wrong with my teeth, I just won't go. I only go for it. It's like, oh, I've got severe tooth pain, or like there's a hole. I haven't had that. But I keep them in like, but like opticians, when they're gonna slap you with a bill, that's like, oh yeah, because they're not covered by the NHS. Oh. Um, it just says exactly what's wrong with not giving your people free healthcare. Straight up. Oh, all of that for nothing. Whatever. Yeah, like it tells you everything you need to know about the healthcare system. Sorry for being political, but it's like if to pay for my glasses, I have to fork out more money than I realistically can save. You know, like hundreds of thousands in the local currency here for me to get the same thing. Oh yeah, he pulls his paper. So, you want to go on your ground? And this is over. We'll see you with obsolete. So you hit the yellow things and then you fall off. And the more you hit them. See, they had to keep his health properly. <laughs> oh, they're all coming off now. Good 
pretty sure before you used to get Jura adding on the back of the second part. Which is cool. And I hope we'll do it again. Basically, keep putting damage down, keep hitting some of it, and then eventually something will break off. If you just sit and focus on one, it doesn't open and close in a lot. <laughs> Instead of just sweeping. It used to stay open for longer, I'm pretty sure, but that might just be me. Those things are probably one of the worst. The missiles are easy because you can deflect them and shoot them down. And they're slower, they're slower. Oh, the purple things are a pain in the ass. Yes. Oh, uh, he's straight up fucking dead too. So yeah, Fruit Bazooka. Fruit Bazooka. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this we must destroy you. <coughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will spoil my plan. <laughs> Yeah, it, it kind of suggested in the original game that Uka Uka was possessing him, and they're kind of going down that again. Oh no, that's not fun. Planted. Oh, you can't use it in the warp room. Okay. I was going to show it off. You get a bazooka that fires Wampa Fruits. That's literally a thing in this game. It's so 90s. When everyone was like, oh yeah, it's so edgy that they're giving Shadow guns. Crash had a fucking bazooka from like the third game <laughs> for some reason. And was on motorbikes as a, like, yeah, I'm cool. So yeah, next session. I'm going to do it now. Another future level, because future. Another bike level, because I'm bad. Another Arabic level with hanging and stuff. Then the fire people throwing fires. Plane. Plane level. Bug light. Which is like, if you remember part two of Crash Bandicoot. Or I could just say Crash Bandicoot 2 and I'll be weird. There was levels where you had a magic bug that followed you around and you had to run from magic bug to magic bug to light up the level. And if you didn't, it was the same in like... In Crash 1, the Aku Aku Masks blew, glowed in the dark, so you could see, and that was like a whole thing. And you have to keep them, otherwise your lights would collapse and stuff. Yeah, it's that. Uh, yeah, so we're near the end of the game. Well, the beginning of the end. So next session we'll do this. And then if I feel like it will do bonus room or like start collecting time trial shit for the bonus room anyway. Yeah.